As a kid, whenever I would visit the fire station, I was scared of the trucks, I was scared of the ambulance, because I only associated them with the possibility of my dad getting hurt. How y'all doing? Good. Andy. JJ. So for today, we've got JJ Watt coming in as a professional athlete to see what it's like to be a firefighter. How y'all doing? JJ, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I know that we're somewhat different kind of athletes, but I know you guys are athletes too, so I wanted to A, test out a different type of workout. B, my dad's been a firefighter for 28 years before he retired. I was with my dad's as a kid. Now I finally have my own. Look, that is nice. Very cool. And he always told me how hard it was, so hoping you guys can maybe show me the ropes today and we can go through some stuff. You guys doing full gear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> the ensemble that we wear is 50 to 75 pounds once we have a pack and everything on. Unlike an athlete, we don't know when the game is and we don't know how long it's going to be. So we have to be prehydrated and ready to go. How's it feel? I am hot. Very hot. You haven't done anything yet. I know. We'll get a taste of it today and see how it goes. Yeah, we will. <laughs> He's acting tough now. Let's just wait and see what happens. We do all the exercise in full gear, so we acclimate to uh, doing high performance things in full gear. I feel awesome right now. I don't think anybody understands what this gear does to intensify a workout. That's real. It's a little tough just bending over in that stuff now, isn't it? Easy peanut jelly. Bye. <laughs> Let's say you get through five rounds of that. It's a rough run. And then you get the call. That that takes some serious mental work off. Yeah, I respect the hell out of that. That's incredible. I mean, I am dying. I am fresh. We've got what's called a combat challenge. And so it's about seven or eight different evolutions, but it's usually on a timed event. I think it's cool for me now, finally, to get a chance to see and live through the work that he put in all the time that these guys put in and see how hard it is. I mean, I pride myself on being a great athlete, but these, these drills kind of put me under the table real quick. It really is a whole different perspective from the average person who doesn't know what it's like to wear all this gear on a day like today and go through these evolutions that these guys are going through. As a firefighter, you may be there for an hour or two, but you still have all your stuff on for long periods of time, and it's, it's a difficult situation at best, and especially on a warm day like today. Done. Yeah, I work my ass off in my job every day because I love it. Um, but at the end of the day, if I screw up, I have a bad play. Theirs is life and death. To me, there's no comparison. We get headlines, you know, and we're playing a game. You know, these guys don't get the headlines, but they're the ones that save lives. Between them and the police and the military, I mean, that's those are people that are doing stuff that matters because they are true heroes. I'm just a guy that chases the ball around, that's all. In the future, we'll have uh, something we can talk about that we have a little more in common with, and then he can understand where I'm coming from, and I can certainly understand where he's coming from. To be able to come back and do something in my hometown with uh, the firefighters who protect my hometown and keep my hometown safe, for me to get a chance to come out and meet these guys and go through what they go through, is special. Yeah. 